Good morning. Um, figure I'd make another video for the vlog. I think I was planning on making two videos today. One is going to be about economics and, and the other one will be about uh, KDE Linux and uh, uh, yeah. so the issue of uh, you know economics I've been thinking a lot about uh, you know private property and capitalism and uh, you know collective you know the unity of the human race you know it's competition versus cooperation you know communism versus capitalism you know capitalism is self-interest you know where you everybody is have private property and you work for your own self-interest that's kind of the capitalist you know back in the days when they created the united states capitalism and democracy both depend on religion you know they depend on people being religious they were created by religious people for religious people both capitalism and democracy and they depend on the people being religious that's where they get their more values and capitalism depend is about everybody seeking their own self-interest you know owning their own private and their own means of production and you know trying to improve themselves and their circumstances and their prosperity and that and that's how it works and you go to church you're learn religion you become you know that's your moral guide is your religion you know there is no moral aspect capitalism is not it's kind of amoral you know and um same thing with democracy you know in order for it to work the people have to be religious because democracy isn't really a moral system it's something else and so it depend they depend on people being religious and uh now with communism they have communism has some good ideas the whole idea of world unity and everybody working together for the benefit of everybody now i like that idea i agree with that idea the only problem is is they're trying to replace religion you know make the state you know take over you know put the where god you know they can't do that that's not okay you know the state is important we need the state to you know provide government services and do different things that the government does we need a state but the state is not god you know and that's kind of what the communists are trying to do they're trying to they don't want anybody talking about god or religion they, they want everybody the state to be in control of everything and that's just insane that's not that's not even natural you know and so neither one of the systems is perfect you know they're man-made philosophies economic philosophies and and each one has advantages you know and, and disadvantages you know capitalism has been so successful because it kind of ties in the, with that the whole natural law about self-interest you know every creature in the universe is interested in is preserving itself you know self preservation is like one of the most primal instincts of all life in the universe and so and and you know self you know capitalism you know kind of competition you know is kind of natural you know the whole com natural selection and all that you know and that's how capitalism works is by natural selection you know everybody's competing with everybody and it's like the best stuff w wins and, and that becomes the standards and everything like that and that's how we advance and we it's a continuously advancing thing the only problem is it's kind of based on competition which it's kind of has certain benefits but it's I don't know if that's the best way to proceed you know I, what we need more of is cooperation and you know unity and service you know serving the be best interest of all mankind you know that's kind of uh i think what's coming up next whether it's more communistic or capitalist i think it's kind of going to be going to be kind of a mixture of those two and plus whatever else you know 
is this inter, you know idea of the world unity will be like the prime directive of the next generation of human nature and civilization and so instead of work being self interest or you know it's kind of a, this, this is where communism has you know they're kind of more onto that where everybody's working for every for the benefit of the whole thing the only difference is is the communists have like a human you know kind of state that it was totalitarian state is a terrible idea but you know because the way I understand the kingdom of God and human nature and civilization is that human beings will s serve God you know they will seek the truth by reading their religion studying religion and spirituality and being spiritual and all that and so and they will do that and all their every activity, their economic activity, their families, everything will serve the human race as a whole and especially God. You know, mostly everybody will be ruled by God individually and collectively. You know, and that's the state will just be as will serve God. You know, the difference with the democracy instead of we will elect the leaders but instead of being uh, accountable to the people who elect them, they'll be accountable to God. The leaders will be accountable to God. And that, that's the kingdom of God. That's how it works. And, um, you know, and I'm no authority or anything like that. I'm just an individual talking about my philosophy and my opinion about things and how to make the world a better place. Because what's going on right now is, you know, I live in Seattle and I lived, I just lived through which is essentially a war, an attack against the United States. And, you know, I don't know if the United States, I think it's a pretty good idea. I like the United States. It's my favorite nation. And I don't, you know, I as long as there are nations on this planet, the United States is my favorite nation. And right now with the United Nations, I like the United Nations. You know, I, I don't agree with a lot of things that are going on in either one of them. You know, the United States is corrupt. It's like, you know, terrible. Some of the things that are going on. In fact, it's getting so bad. The United States is getting so bad that I'm like, you know, it's we lost it. It's over, you know, because the people lost their religion. And, you know, it, the United States was created by religious people for religious people. And a lot of them have abandoned that religion and they think they're doing something I don't know what they're thinking because I, I you know because I believe in God I thank God and I hope I always will believe in God and and serve God because what's going on in the United States is not okay it's not sustainable and it won't last you know because God makes the rules and and it's not like God is angry or anything like that and he's going to punish American or anything like that. It's like God makes the rules. And when we follow those rules, we prosper. And when we don't follow those rules, civilization disintegrates. It's just, you know, it's just like a plane. Well, you can fly up. You can build machines that fly by following the laws of aerodynamics. And if you don't follow those rules, those laws of aerodynamics, the plane falls out of the sky. And it's the same thing with civilization, any civilization, every civilization, you know, the same thing. You know, when they abandon those spirituality and the divine rule of law, civilization ends. And it has done that over and over and over again throughout the whole entire history of the human race. And so this, this, we're kind of going through that right now where the old civilization is disintegrating and, but there's a new civilization that's just starting out and it's this global divine civilization. And, you know, and I, th like I said, I think that there's going to be a mixture of capitalism and communism, you know, different economic, you know, whatever's best for everybody. It's not going to be about individuals or advantage or races or anything like that. Racism is a sin against God. You know, not only is it against the law, not only is it unconstitutional, it's a sin against God. And any form of racism is. 
you know, and um, the family, you know, civilization is depends on families. Families created civilization, and uh, you, you know, there's no you get rid of you know you try to get rid of the family, and it's like what that's human nature. Family is human nature. You can't get rid of the family. It's just and so we need the family and we need religion whatever and i'm not talking about being fanatical and i talk about religion way too much but i it's such i right now in the history of the world it's like the most important issue because in the west you know because it's like we've been talked out of you know and to be ashamed of our religion and I, that's absurd you know don't fall for that that's the antichrist Okay, whatever your religion is, and it needs to be a religion of God, not some man-made, you know, neo-paganism is not religion. Okay, that's just a, a man-made philosophy. Okay, and probably I'm not saying anything negative about anybody. I'm, what I'm saying is, is that the religion of God is from God. God makes the religion of God. He decides. It's not, you know, a personal opinion or anything like that. It's God makes the rules. God decides what is the true religion. God determines that. Okay, he creates it and he, and okay, this is the laws for now. You know, because it, it changes, you know, back when Adam and Noah and Abraham you know, they, their circumstances were entirely different than our circumstances are. So the rules back then, you know, were different than they are now. You know, the spiritual laws are the same. They never change. You know, the inner essence of the religion never changes. But the social aspects of it do change over the centuries. You know, every thousand years or so, a new manifestation of God appears and reveals a new revelation. And that you know, for that generation of human nature and civilization. And he creates a new civilization. A new civilization starts every time. Now, you know, this civilization that's beginning right now will last for the, at least 500,000 years. Baha'u'llah, you know, he started, he founded a new civilization on this planet, the kingdom of God on earth, which will last for at least 500,000 years. And every thousand years or so, a new manifestation of God will appear. And they'll like, it'll be kind of like every religion in the past looked forward to Baha'u'llah. And the religions in the future will look back towards Baha'u'llah. You know, they'll, you know, know they'll teach about Baha'u'llah, but from like, it'll be like Adam or something kind of is to for the Christians. And all these religions are the same. They all come from the same God, Buddhism, Hinduism, you know, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. They all come from the same God, Zoroastrianism. You know, there's only one God and he is the founder and the source of every true religion. And so we need to seek that truth, find out what that is and study it and learn it and get that becomes our moral compass. And that is how divine civilization is created by every individual human being. And now with our modern technology, with the internet and schools and, you know, everything, we can, every single human being will learn the word of God. There's no clergy. There's no need for a clergy because everybody reads the word of God for themselves. And, and then, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of into, wanted this story to be about economics, about, because I'm interested in like with, with uh, free and open source software. It's like, okay, so I got free and open source software. It's kind of communistic. And then you got capitalism, which is private property. And, you know, and so I'm kind of trying to figure out what's the right way. And, um, I think that free and open source software is a good attitude. It's a good system. You know, uh, it's, I'm not against private property. I think private property is a good thing. Uh, big business is a good thing. They make things, you know, we, we, no small business can create a skyscraper or a jet plane or anything like that, let alone thousands of them, you know. so. 
I'm not against big business. What I am against is these big businesses controlling everything and, you know, and just being out of control. You know, I don't want, you know, and the whole United Nations, you know, there's a, the sustainable development goals. I think it's number 17. The last one is this deal where the corporations, you know, use their power to influence the people. And so the United Nations will rule the world via the giant corporations. That's rule number 17. You know, that's the sustainable development goal number 17, I believe it is. And, um, you know, I, when I, I, I thought that was actually a good idea, but the way things are going, I'm not so sure because they're making up rules that are just obviously not, they're just crazy rules. The, the main, the most crazy one is the idea that men and women, there's no difference between men and women. That's insane. And if I get in trouble for saying that, I guess I, I'm in trouble because I will never not accept the idea that men and women are not different. The f female and male, bio, that's part of biology, the laws of biology, the natural laws of human nature is they're male and female. And... Um, and it's not a matter of opinion. It's not a personal choice. It's it's set by DNA, which is, you know, in the Y chromosome and the X chromosome. You either have, I think it's two X chromosomes if you're female or, or and an X and a Y if you're male or, or vice versa. I can't remember which one it is. But that's the that's how it's decided. It ain't decided any other way. Okay, it's not a matter of opinion or personal choice or anything like that. You either have XX or XY. And um, which is what determines whether you're a male or female. And, um, you know, so we just got to keep, you know, that's why I'm, but I think the, the idea of world government is a good idea. We, it's absolutely essential, you know, and that's come, that's part of ne the next generation of human nature. And that's a good thing. And we'll, we'll do that. And, but I think that the free and open source software, because, you know, all this self-interest and greedy, you know, materialistic, uh, you know, self and amb ambition is, that's not the way of God. You know, God says, you know, be detached from the world. And so that kind of, I and the main thing I'm thinking about is instead of having everybody working in these big giant corporations and, and everything like that, which like I said, that's fine. I'm not against that. What I'm trying to do is create the old capitalist system, the family farmers, where you have your family owns a business and they control that business and they, and that's free enterprise, that's capitalism. And I think that it would be a good idea to have a large, you know, part, number of people working like that. And so we've got to figure out how to make that work within this system that includes large corporations and one world government, you know. And that's what I'm saying. We need the world, one world government to protect the small businesses from the big businesses and make a system, you know, because they're the ones that make the rules, you know, the, as far as the social rules, you know, the governing, you know, the here and now kind, kind of rules. And so rule those, make the rules serve all the people all the time. And produce, you know, allow, defend capitalism and private property and free enterprise and democracy. And I went over my 15 minutes. I'm coming up on 20 minutes, so I think I'll go ahead and end it right there. I kind of got off. I got onto the spirituality again. I love spirituality, and I love talking about it. I think it's important, and we should be Seeking the truth. Just seek the truth. Have a great day.